Today we immobilized our plane zebras, KT and Charlie Harper, for their pre-shipment physicals. They are going to, as we speak, to Scoville Zoo today, and that is so we can make room for mountain zebras. For a zebra, when you immobilize it to do a physical, they're getting their yearly vaccines, their rabies, they are vaccinated for West Nile. We're also checking their hooves to make sure that they're in good shape, that they if, trim them up if we needed to, um, checking their teeth because they do grow. Um, and then we're also just making sure they're in good physical condition and drawing blood to make sure. So we do a regular CBC and chemistry panel on them. And then they also need a, a Coggins test as well since they're an equine species. So we wanted to transition to mountain zebras because they're more endangered. They're classified as vulnerable from the IUCN. And there's only about 8,000 of them left in the wild where there's closer to 600,000 of the plain zebras left. And so when we're participating with the zebra species survival plan through AZA, they're encouraging institutions that have plain zebras if they have the space to breed to transition to mountain zebras. Well, it is, it's emotional. It's, it's tugs on our heartstrings when we care for them day in and day out over the years to have them go to another institution. But, um, but we know Scoville's great. They're also AZA accredited, and so we feel really great about them moving to that institution. Yeah. There's only 54 mountain zebras in the US, and only 12 institutions have them. So we'll be really lucky to participate with that.